still more than a lot of Yeah man, yeah. <laughs> a lot of these elders out here don't have a lot of them don't even have half the knowledge that you have. You're more qualified to be an elder than some of these men that was ordained by Bishop Johnson. Their loyalty wasn't there, their dedication wasn't there. Not only that, a lot of them didn't have the revelation to break down scriptures. Right. Yeah. They just yell baptism, name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and there's one God, but never can go into the God here, break it down, analyze, separate the human from the divine. Now let now let me take now let me say this back. Hey, point this finger at me. <laughs> a lot of times people have asked me questions. Uh -huh. And Pastor, I've been able to answer them. You should be. The Bible says you're able to answer according to the reason for hope that is in you. And it makes me feel good. And you ought to feel, <laughs> feel good. The Bible says be able to answer according to the reason for hope that is within you. And you mean something you sit around all this teaching and you ain't got a reasonable hope that is in you. The reasonable hope that is in you, when you answer right, give them hope. The Bible says hope make them not ashamed. All right, Pastor, I'm not done. I know you're not. All right. With this read thing now, yeah. guys, I want to get better. God knows I want to get better. But it's like, I'm not. All right. Yesterday, I wanted to go on a fast. So I didn't go on it because I'm like, well, I'm traveling and all of that. Was, was that a right decision to make? Only you can make that vote. Because I didn't. Because I'm thinking, well, I, I fast on Wednesday. Well, if you don't fast yesterday, then you'll fast another day. So, I want to do this right. Don't burn knows I want to do Don't burn right. yourself down and don't beat yourself down with it. Do it like the Bible says, line upon line. Precept upon precept. Here a little and there a little. And then ask God to give the increase. That's all. Just so just like that. Let God give the increase. Don't you do it. Don't do nothing of yourself. But let the Father that dwell up in you, let him do the work. And when he do the work, Right. Don't beat yourself down over. You, you, you will exhaust yourself and yeah. tire yourself. Right. And then you start worrying. I don't know that to yourself. The Bible says I must decrease. That's what you got to do. Right. Decrease. Look, before I was having all type of dreams about you in a negative type way. Uh -huh. like, oh man. Like, like a trip was coming up and I was too late to make it. Stuff like that. Yeah. And it, the devil use all that as a distraction. Man. The devil use all that as a distraction. And when you get that distraction embedded in you, what he does is hinder you from performing the way you want to perform. So now just clear your head, clear your mind, and stop letting the devil use dreams as a pawn. And then he gets you in an emotional stage when he hinder you from performing. Do like the Bible said, you decrease. In other words, you get out of it. And then let God give the increase. Because I, because I know God is I know that. All right then. I know that. Then leave it alone. I know that. Well, now before I step in the pulpit, I'm already decreased. You are <laughs> Yeah, I'm already decreased. Before I step in the pulpit, I done decreased. The moment they say we introduce you back again, the moment I step to the pulpit, uh -huh. I got the increase. Glory to God. I got, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got the increase. <laughs> because I'm looking at you and you're so calm. I got a right I to be calm because I, I decrease. Wow. That's why I'm calm. I decrease and let God increase. In other words, decrease means get out of it. You get out of it. I'm sitting in the pulpit enjoying the service and all that. Yeah. I'm just enjoying the service and observing everything. I done decrease. Hallelujah. And this is what most men don't know nothing about. Right. They quote it, but they don't know how to decrease. Mm. It's like someone get down there and talk about letting the air out the tire, but they can't explain how to let that air out the tire. Right. But when you let the air out the tire, you are decreasing the pressure. <laughs> you, are, you are decreasing the pressure. Wow. So I'm telling you to decrease. Decrease the pressure. Get the pressure off of it. Stop putting yourself under the pressure. And then let God replace the pressure that you put on yourself. Let God give you the increase. The Spirit of God will take the place of your pressure. Then you have the pressure of the Spirit. He will inflate you. You decrease. Mm. You deflate. Mm. Don't even rely on the skill that you have. Right. When you get up in that pulpit, rely on God giving you more skill. 
then what you have. Right. Mm. When that happens, you decrease. Then you're relying on God to increase. Like a person tired on the Holy Ghost, they got to decrease. In other words, when they seek the law for the Holy Ghost, they never go before God, Lord, I've been tired, I've been tired. They're gonna tell God what you've been doing. He know what you've been doing. You decrease. And then you seek the Lord for the increase. All right, step in the pulpit. I done totally decreased. I done totally decreased. Totally. And when I step up to the pool, to the podium, automatically, he gave it an increase. You get what I'm telling you? So it's not just reading the scriptures. It's having the understanding of the scriptures and knowing how to apply that scriptural medicine to yourself. Anybody can go in the pharmacy. And they say, well, what you got for this? What you got for that? They don't know the name of it. They go to the, pharm they go to the pharmacist. They describe the condition. And, but the pharmacist can give them the name of the antidote. So you, you just describe your condition. I'm a Bible pharm pharmacist. And I know a scripture to give you the antidote. You decrease. Yeah. And the Bible says God will give the increase. You do your part. Hallelujah. He'll do his part. Glory to God. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Glory to God. I said that's what it is. So when you often comment, uh, out of all this work God doing, I was I'm so cool about it because oh, I'm not doing it. God is doing it. I know God is doing it. But you still a human being, man. Yeah, right. Well, you look, got at, all this stuff look, look at it this way. Time. If you got a dependable driver who drives carefully and with discipline, you can sit back and go to sleep. True. True. God True. is my driver. He's carrying me, so I can afford to be cool. Because I'm, 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 I'm in His bosom. I rely on Him. It's His vision. It's his vision. He just showed me his vision. He just showed me what he wants done and how he wants done it. And all I am is a divine employee. And I'm following his vision. That's why nobody can move me from it. You know, and nobody can come around and try to water down the vision because they don't have it. They don't understand it. So whatever they say about it, I don't I don't pay nobody no money. Because he gave me the vision. And uh, I'm relying on him to fulfill it, and he got confidence in me to do it. Oh. Somebody say, "Well, God ain't never got confidence in no man." I said, "Lie." Pastor Paul said, "God put me in trust with the gospel." Uh -huh. Paul said, "God trust him." Right. Right. So I'm glad that I can be trusted of God yeah. with the gospel, oh, what kind of because he know I ain't gonna move. I don't care who I meet, I don't care what I face, I don't care who I talk to, how much money you got, I don't care nothing about that. Wow. The gospel is the most valuable thing in the universe, That's right. and he entrusted me with that. Oh. And I know how to handle it. Right. Yes, you See, when you handle the word of God deceitfully, you don't value the treasure. Oh. That's right. It's like a person that get a lot of money and spend it all kind of way, they don't value it. Either they don't value it because they don't want to stand the value of it, 